And if you guys follow my Instagram, which it's ellicat815, I Instagrammed this picture of a blue milkshake and I was like, anybody want me to do a video on this in a tour? So anyways, let's just get on to the really fun video because I hope you guys like it. Okay. Bye. When you need some strawberries, chocolate chips, cake pop sticks, and sprinkles. So I'm taking my chocolate and heating that in the microwave for about 30 seconds at a time. Then I'm just going to have fun and kind of dance around because I seriously like to dance when I'm waiting for things in the microwave. I don't know, it's just kind of cool and I was singing to some old school Cher Lloyd music. Then I'm taking my cake pop sticks and my half strawberries and just adding those into my strawberries. And it's just very easy and simple. Now I'm taking my chocolate after it's done out of the microwave and just mixing it up and I found that 30 seconds was enough time for me and just dipping the tips of these strawberries into the chocolate so it's just semi healthy and not too much chocolate. And this is dark chocolate if you're wondering. And then I'm just adding some sprinkles because they're very fun and super cute looking and these taste really amazing. and are literally perfect for a summer day. For this drink, you are going to need some colorful straws. I chose green. And then some sugar, some cubed watermelon, a blender or juicer. And I chose this cranberry strawberry juice. So I'm taking my cubed watermelon and just adding that into my blender. And you want cubed because it'll chop up better in your blender. Then I just put a little bit of sugar for a sweetened taste, or you could use like stevia, like a natural sugar. And then I'm just um, blending that for a little bit. I think I did like maybe 30 seconds or something like on my timer. And then pouring the watermelon juice into my bottle. And then I'm also pouring the strawberry juice in there as well and you want to kind of mix it up. And once it's done, just put a straw in it, and it's literally an awesome summer drink. And it was very refreshing on that day because it was pretty hot, and it tasted very good. So these are the items that you are going to need. So again, take some chocolate and just put that in the microwave for about 30 seconds at a time. And of course, I had to show you guys my bad dance skills again. I don't know, maybe I was like an Egyptian. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay, my chocolate's done. So now I'm just going to stir it up. And my chocolate's a little bit more chunky because it had like peanut butter in it. And they were like these kind of like malted chocolate balls. So I'm just going to mix it all together. And then after that, I'm taking my granola, and it's a mixture of granola, coconut, and chia seeds, and putting those into small containers. They're kind of hard to see because they're literally see-through. These containers save my life. And then I'm taking a dollop of chocolate and putting that into each one, and adding a little bit of whipped cream in case you or your friends like that. And you don't have to add it. It's optional, but of course I had to taste some because it was good. And taking a goldfish and just placing one of those on top of it, the sweet goldfish, of course. So you need some cake pop sticks, pepperoni, and cheese. I'm taking my cheese and just cutting that into pieces, like cubed cube pieces. And then just sticking those into my bowl. And ripping up some pepperoni slices. And then adding my cake pop stick and taking my cheese cube, a pepperoni, and a cheese cube, 
I feel this is a great snack if you're going to have like a football party for some reason. It seems like that. But I just kind of came up with it and thought it'd be a fun little snack that you could have. And it's a little bit unhealthy. So reduced fat cheese or you could add like a different kind of pepperoni. Or you could skip the pepperoni. You could... For this you're going to need one cup of milk, some mint chocolate chip ice cream with topping, blue food coloring, and ice cubes. So I'm taking my one cup of milk adding that into my blender and then I add about four or five scoops of mint chip ice cream. It's really your preference on how much ice cream that you would like. Then I'm adding my blue food coloring. I usually add like six or seven drops. Then I'm just going to put my blender on 35. I like to mix my ice up first just so it gets kind of Smooth, and then I'm just pouring everything into a mason jar cup because it's super cute like that adding my wood topping and a decorative straw and I absolutely love this milkshake it is literally perfect on a hot summer day so those are all my DIY treats and snacks and drinks I hope you guys enjoy this if you try anything out please let me know I would love to see your photos and have an amazing summer day and I hope you guys make some of these because they're really fun and I had an awesome time making them even though it was really warm outside and they just literally taste so good so I'll see you guys later have a perfect summer day and I love you so much bye and we of like uh cookie monster because it's blue and everything I don't know hashtag cookie family if you guys want your milkshake to bring all the boys to the yard. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn. Really? 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 Jump into the video, so I'm just gonna jump. Work too damn hard for this just to give it up now. If you don't swim, you'll drown. Don't move, honey. You are so perfect,